Hi friends, good morning. Welcome to my channel, Balu Master. Today I am going to discuss trigonometry shortcut number fifteen. Today's shortcut having one specialty is there, friends. That is what. That is my one of the favorite shortcuts. That is a very very superb duper shortcut, friends. Please watch it. And also, moreover, just the starting questions I am going to give small questions. While class is going on, I am going to give lengthy models and which it is. Coming from JE mains previously, that kind of questions also I'm going to discuss, friends. That's what you keep watch till end of the video. Let's start our session, friends. Let's start, friends. So the question is cos pi by pi, cos two pi by pi, cos three pi by pi, cos four pi by pi is equals to dash. So it is look like shortcut number fourteen, right? Yes, friends. It is almost look like shortcut number fourteen, but it is not shortcut number fourteen. Why? Because you have to know the difference between shortcut number fourteen and shortcut number fifteen. So, those two shortcuts difference is this is what cos pi by pi, cos two pi by pi, cos three pi by pi, cos four pi by pi. Whereas shortcut number fourteen, pi by pi, two pi by pi, two square pi by pi. Means there is no three pi by pi term, there is no five pi by term, there is no Seven pi by term, so like the two, two square, two cube, two power four, two power five, like that kind of shortcut is nothing but shortcut number fourteen. Whereas in this shortcut, uh, cos pi by five, cos two pi by five, three pi by five, four pi by five, five pi by five, like that. Kind I'm going to discuss now. Look at here, friends. How you are going to solve this kind of questions means uh, cos pi by pi, cos two pi by pi, cos three pi by pi, cos four pi by pi can be written as pi minus pi by pi. If you simplify again, you are going to get uh, pi minus pi by pi is nothing but four pi by pi. Even three pi by four also can be written as pi minus two pi by pi. Now this total result you are getting cos pi by pi, cos two pi by pi. Cos 180 minus theta. It is in second quadrant. Cos of 180 minus theta is nothing but minus cos theta. That's what minus cos 2 pi by 5 minus cos pi by 5. So minus into minus plus cos 2 pi by 5 into cos pi by 5. That's what cos 2 pi by 5 cos pi by 5 again repeats. That's what I want to write. Cos square 2 pi by 5 cos square pi by 5. Now very clearly the question is this can be written as cos pi by 5 cos 2 pi by 5. Whole square. So here, this is nothing but shortcut number fourteen. Why? Because the shortcut is cos pi by pi, cos two power one into pi by pi. Yes. In previous shortcut, we discussed very clearly, friends. That is what sine of. How many number of terms? Two terms. So two square pi by pi. By two square into sine pi by pi. Whole square. This is what you are going to write. Uh, sine two square four four pi by five four pi by five can be written as pi minus pi by five whole by two square four into sine pi by five whole square. Now sine one eighty minus theta sine theta sine theta is nothing but sine pi by five sine pi by five sine pi by five get cancelled. You are getting one by four whole square. The answer is one by sixteen. 1 by 16 is your answer, friends. If you want to solve this question, means uh, I used shortcut number 14 also in between. Without using any shortcut, without using any shortcut, you can able to crack this question within fraction of seconds. Hardly two seconds. Hardly two three seconds, you can able to evaluate this kind of questions, friends. I want to give that kind of superb duper shortcut to you. Now I want to introduce shortcut, friends. Look at carefully. Cause of Pi by two n plus one into cos of two pi by two n plus one into cos of three pi by two n plus one into so on into cos of n pi by two n plus one can be written as cos of pi by two n plus one. All the denominators are same. It will be just for one by one into pi by two into pi by three into pi by four into pi by five into pi by. So on all the continuous terms, n pi by two by n pi by two n plus one can be written. The formula is one by two to the power of total number of terms. How many are there? One to n n number of terms. The formula is one by two power n. One by two power n is your answer, friends. But here very clearly you have to understood and observe. This is what you are going to write. This is n pi means maximum how much it is possible means two n plus one only possible. Means for example n equal to five means n equal to if you take five. Five means uh, here you are going to take five into two ten ten plus one eleven. This is possible. Till this only it is possible. For example, n is equals to ten if you consider ten pi by ten into two twenty twenty one. Like this only possible. So if it is given 
after cos 11 pi by 21 cos 12 pi by 21 given means what you are going to do let us watch friends i want to give that kind of examples also so now let us see the formula this is maximum the formula is 1 by 2 power n very clearly here cos pi by 5 cos 2 pi by 5 cos 3 pi by 5 cos pi by 5 let us there this continuity or not check it yes continuity is there this can be written as 1 by 2 to the power of total number of terms 1 2 3 4 that is what 2 power 4 that's what the answer is 1 by 16 within fraction of seconds you can able to evaluate very easily this kind of questions friend. coming to here friends next example cos 5 by 11 cos 2 by 11 cos 3 by 11 cos 4 by 11 cos 5 by 11 is it possible this formula or not let us see n is equals to 5 here that is what how much it is possible 2 into 5 plus 1 11 yes denominator is 11 that's what this is possible that you have to write down 1 by 2 to the power of how many number of terms there are 5 times 2 power 5 that is what 1 by 32 1 by 32 is your answer in case that they are going to give this kind of questions only friends you can able to crack within fraction of seconds now for je means how they are going to ask the question which kind of question they are going to form look at carefully friends yes coming to here friends this is the question the question is cos 5 by 11 2 pi by 11 3 pi by 11 4 pi by 11 5 pi by 11 6 7 8 9 10 11 pi by 11 yes the formula is work out or not if you take n as 11 n as 11 you want 2n plus 1 that's what 2 into 2 into 11 plus 1 compulsory denominator you want 23 but 23 is not given so this formula is not applicable so whenever this formula is not applicable then what we are going to do let us convert into our formation that's it now how much it is applicable look at at least how much it is applicable means so 11 given means uh, the denominator 11 means 2n plus 1 is equals to 11 that what 2n is equals to 10 n is equals to 5 so till 5 this is applicable till this it is applicable now this remaining part it is not applicable just you convert into this formation that's all friends that is the difference between k set question and j e means question k set question this much only they'll give whereas j e means question like that they're going to ask how you are going to convert very very simple calculation here 11 and 11 get cancelled cos pi cos pi is equals to minus one well known value this is minus one then coming to here 10 pi by 11 can be written as pi minus pi by 11 pi minus pi by 11 can be written as 10 pi by 11 so next 9 pi by 11 can be written as pi minus 2 pi by 11 then this is nothing but if you simplify 9 pi by 11 8 pi by 11 can be written as pi minus 3 pi by 11 whereas 7 pi by can 7 pi by 11 can be written as pi minus 4 pi by 11 then 6 pi by 11 can be written as pi minus 5 pi by 11 if you simplify you'll get it 6 pi by 11 then very very clearly cos 180 minus theta second quadrant cos negative that's what minus cos theta so minus cos minus cos minus cos minus cos minus cos how many are there one two three four five five negative signs nothing but negative into one more negative is there that is what positive that's what this total quantity is positive also what it repeats friends so cos pi cos 180 minus theta cos 5 pi by 7 it reflects this one this one gives this one and whereas this one gives this one as well as this as well as this that's what what happened every value two times you are getting that's what this can be written as pi by 11 cos 2 pi by 11 it cos 3 pi by 11 it cos 4 pi by 11 it cos 5 pi by 11 whole square then this is nothing but this is our shortcut formula yes shortcut formula is applicable for that 1 by 2 power how many number of terms 5 terms 2 power 5 whole square that is nothing but uh, 1 by 2 power 10 that is nothing but 1 by 1024 is your answer it's now your question cos 5 by 15 cos 2 pi by 15 cos 3 pi by 15 so on cos 7 pi by 15 yes that formula is applicable or not applicable if applicable what is the answer if it is not applicable how to solve the sum let us do it and post your answer in comment box so that's all for today's class friends i hope you enjoyed the shortcut if anybody not subscribed my channel till now please subscribe and watch my videos and also you can able to get all my daily updates if you subscribe so that's all for today's class friends thank you very much friends thanks a lot bye friends